hello everyone uh, today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of x so if we have uh, here you see that x is multiplied by four times and in the denominator uh, we have x is added by four times and it is equals to 80 over 5 so uh, because we solve this problem for the values of x and now here you see that the exponent of all of these values is 1 so we apply here the exponent law according to exponent law if you have some numbers are multiplied by each other and its bases are same so we add its exponents according to this uh, you add all of these exponents so you get here 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 and Similarly, uh, in the denominator, you see here we have x is added by 4 times, which means that we add the coefficient, coefficients of these terms. So, you see here the coefficients of all of these values are uh, also 1. So, when you add these coefficients, so you get here 4 times of x and it is equals to, uh, here we need to write this into the simplified form. We cancel this term. We have 5 1s are 5. We carry 3 and 5 6 are 13. So we obtain here 16. Okay. So uh, now in the next step, uh, here we apply the exponent law. You know that if you have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, it is equals to a to the power of m minus n. So according to this exponent law, you see here the base of this and this term are same. So we move this and the exponent in the denominator term to the numerator term uh, like in this form. Uh, so we write it as x to the power of 4 minus 1 and it is divided by 4 only and this whole is equals to 16. So further in the next step, we move this 4 to the right hand side. It is divided by left hand side. When we move in the right hand side, it is multiplied by the 16. So we write it as <clears throat> x to the power of 4 minus 1 equals to 3. And we have 4 multiplied by 16. And we know that uh, 16 times of 4 is equals to 64. So you see here clearly this equation becomes cubic equation in x variable. So uh, here we apply the cubic formula but first we rewrite this equation as this is x cubed and we write this 64 as 4 cubed and now in the next step we move this 4 cubed in the left hand side it will become x cubed minus 4 cubed equals to 0. So you see here, the, <coughs> you see here, uh, these two terms are written into the cubic form, and here we apply this cubic formula. If we have a cubed minus b cubed, it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. So according to this cubic formula here, we need uh, to uh, write the above cubic equation as in this form. Uh, so here you see that our a is x and our b is 4. So we put these values of a and b in the right hand side of this formula and we obtain here. <clears throat> First you have a minus b, the value of a is x minus the value of b is 4 and again you have a square so a is x square plus again we have a b the value of a is x b is 4 and plus this b square so our b is 4 square and this whole equation equals to 0. So further in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 4 equals to 0 and the second case is we first simplify we write this whole equation equals to 0 so you have x square plus this is 4 times of x plus this is 4 square equals to 16 and this whole equation equals to 0 so from this case we easily get the value of x is equals to 4 so this is the our first real root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots of this equation we need to solve this quadratic equation so in order to solve this quadratic equation we will apply here the quadratic formula so for this first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c is equals to 16 
and we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula uh, and now here in the next step uh, we need to substitute the above values of a b and c in this formula so it will be written as this is minus b when we put this value here it will becomes minus 4 plus minus square root of b square b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so here we substitute the values of a and a b and c and now we uh, need to simplify the terms so we have uh, here uh, we write our x is equals to this is minus 4 plus minus this is square root of 4 square and 4 square equals to 16 minus <clears throat> here you have 4 multiplied by 16 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 so further in the next step we have our x is equals to minus 4 plus minus square root of here we take common 16 inside the square root and we get 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2. So now here we need to uh, focus on this square root term. So in the square root term we uh, first apply the square root separately on both of these values and it will be written as minus 4 plus minus square root of 16 into uh, here you have this is 1 minus 4 and 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 and it is divided by 2. And now here uh, we rewrite this equation as x is equals to minus 4 plus minus. We know that a square root of 16 equals to 4 and here uh, you know very well that if the negative sign appears inside the square root sign so it will becomes iota and we have this is square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we need to break this fraction and it will be written as minus 4 divided by 2 plus minus 4 times of square root of 3 divided by 2 into iota so these are cancelled out by each other and we get 2 times of 2 is 4. This is 2 times of 2 is also 4. You get x is equals to minus 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of 3 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. And we have the one is the real root and it is x is equals to 4. So this is the our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos